In this short tutorial, I'd like to show how you can edit red material in EDIUS 6. To do so, you will need the Red Cine X tool, which can be downloaded from the support page on www.red.com. I have already unpacked my Red Cine tool and I've loaded it. I have lowered my screen resolution down a bit for this recording, but I'll hide the timeline to give us more room as we don't need it right now. Basically, I can show all the windows as needed from the Windows menu, and I'll cover that in more detail later on. I have some material, which I imported earlier, in my Red Cine X bin, and with a double click have loaded it into my preview window. Now, the data is generated internally for the preview, and I can look at it in a lower resolution, which is in my case 1 8th. If I wanted to, I could perform further changes. I don't want to show this tool in great detail now, but one thing I would like to do is to set my mark-in point to here, set-in point. When the actor has left the screen, I no longer need it, and so I will place my out point here. Now we have many possibilities with this tool to perform various corrections. For example, here with the Gamma tool. In this case, however, I don't want to use it, so I will click here on Reset and close the tool. Now I would like to export my clip so that I can work on it in EDIUS. To do this, I can go to Export here. I would like to export the clip that is in my player. There are many options for exporting clips, such as all clips in bin. I would like to export the clip in my player, and so I first click on plus to create a new export preset. I would like to export the entire thing as a TIFF sequence, and therefore will call my preset TIFF export. I can also specify other settings for my TIFF data, but I will leave it with the default settings for now. The only thing I want to change is my output resolution settings, and so choose Custom. And in this case, I will use 3072 by 1536. I'll confirm with OK. Now I am reminded that I should check my TIFF settings. They are all fine, and I want to use these settings, so I can confirm with OK. Now I have to start the export procedure by clicking here on export. And I will also create a new folder, new folder, for the picture sequence. Finally, after this, the export process starts. After my red material has been exported, I have switched back to EDIUS, where I have created a project using HQX codec 10-bit and chosen the correct resolution. Now I will import my material into the bin, add file, and select the picture sequence. Then activate sequence clip here, and it should be titled scene 1. I'll confirm this with Open, and the picture sequence is imported. After the pictures have been imported, I can use them in my project. What I need to be aware of is that working with a picture sequence may not be particularly fast, so I will convert them into the HQX codec. I can do this with right mouse click, Convert, File. And now the whole thing is played as an AVI. With this AVI data, we can work much faster, depending, however, on computer and hard drive performance to a certain extent. In my case, it doesn't seem to play perfectly. And so, to speed this up, we could, for example, use proxies. Using File, Create Proxy, I can create the proxy material for the timeline. 
And by switching to proxy mode here, I can clearly work faster by using the proxy data.